Our collection is one of the largest in North America uh, for a public institution. In this space, uh, you'll find a museum which has artifacts from, uh, from schools of years past. It's the first time we've had a fine art collection and a space for a fine art collection. What we're looking to be able to offer the students is a glimpse into the imagination and the uh, ideas and the inspiration for Native art. Native art is inspired by nature. We do not uh, traditionally do portraits. We don't traditionally do still life. In the traditional world of Native art was to communicate with a spiritual world and to entice cooperation of a uh, spiritual nature in order to help us in hunting, in healing, and in communicating with nature. This is uh, sort of the tip of our, our artifact collection, the tip of the artifact iceberg, so to speak. This is where we have students come in, researchers and so forth, and we've tried to give sort of a general overview of the history of public education in the Toronto area. This piece right here is a speech correction tool. Uh, the teacher would write words and so forth along the top and would work with the, t uh, with the student who would then repeat what they were reading in a mirror to learn how to um, form the words properly and so forth. Um, early speech correction. Film strip five. Film strip. Marijuana, a foolish fan. These are joints. They look like cigarettes, but instead of tobacco, they contain marijuana. Pot, tea, grass, and Mary Janes are hip names for this drug. <laughs> 